All right, now that that's been taken care of, I want to address the shading of the rocks. Um, and then there's this little issue I'm having right here where my geometry isn't really, it doesn't really look the same. So when I look at it in the render, like it's covering up a lot of my, my rocks here. But when I look at it in the viewport, you can see that it looks fine. So I do want to try to address that as well. But um, the first thing we'll do here is uh, just kind of try to get the shading of the rocks right first. So in order to do that, we're going to do basically the same thing we've done um, with everything else is we're going to make it to where it's no longer a mash object. Um, <clears throat> and we will uh, add some shading to it. So. We'll start by, again, the typical thing we're going to, if we delete the history on our um, on our models here, then our mash will no longer uh, do any effect. So then we can just delete our mash object there. And then I'm going to take our rocks here and we'll name this, um, we'll just name this rocks. And we're going to go to mesh separate that will separate them all uh, and then I want to go ahead and select them all it's a lot of them there and again we're going to delete history freeze transforms and center pivots on all of those rocks that would just make life a little bit easier for us if we want to uh, rearrange them a little bit now we could start by trying something simple here we could try to just make these the same material as our chimney rocks. So they're kind of, um, <clears throat> if we look at our, our render here, see that they're kind of mixed matched colors. So um, that might work um, if we want them to all be sort of a various gray tone. So I think that's the first thing I'm gonna try. Now, um, our, our scene here is getting a little messy. So I'm going to take these rocks throw those in our mash models. Um, we'll do the same with our pavers and paver path. We'll throw those in our um, mash model. Um, just kind of clean things up a little bit. <clears throat> and again, our ground we'll have to deal with here in a second. So <clears throat> let's try just selecting all of those rocks and assigning our chimney material to it. So I'm just going to right click, select those all, go to assign existing material. And then I have, um, chimney bricks. So we'll just try assigning those and I'm going to assign that same material to our, um, pavers as well. chimney bricks <clears throat> and we'll do a quick render to just see what that looks like Now that looks um, pretty good, actually. Um, I think I like that quite a bit. Now, obviously, if you want more variations in your rocks, you can uh, just make a different material. That should work fine for you. But I actually like that material um, is looking good. We could also just try to go in to our material attributes here. <clears throat> Let's select one of these guys and go to our standard surface material and look at our color jitter. Um, and we can try increasing uh, some of these values a little bit. So like, just keep in mind that this will affect our chimney as well. Um, so we can sort of lighten these up a little bit, which will give us a little bit more variation. Not by a lot. But I think something like 0.05 
or uh, yeah, point uh, point one maybe. One is a bit much, but maybe point one will lighten those up quite a bit. <clears throat> and yeah, I like that. I think that looks um, looks pretty decent. And now that I have them separate, I could actually come in and sort of arrange them a little bit better as well. So if I want to maybe bring this one up or delete a few, um, I can do that. You can see that some of them are overlapping quite a bit, so if we want to just rearrange them a little bit so they're not so, they don't look like they're so out of place. Maybe we can take this guy. And I'm not too worried about the back portion of my model, you know, because we're only going to be rendering from here, but if you were going to render, you may want to take a little bit more care for the other, that other stuff as well. And anything that's a little, just a little too close to the house here, we can actually um, get rid of or, or move around a little bit. So I, I think I like the idea of maybe these big rocks lining the garden a little bit, if this is going to become a garden. <clears throat> As, you know, sort of a makeshift fence there. And, you know, any of them that, like, these two are kind of too similar in the way that they're facing. So I may want to just take this guy and rotate it a little bit. <clears throat> so, yeah, that will give you the opportunity to kind of fix that if you need to. Um, and then for the ground here... Why it's doing the thing it's doing, I don't quite know, but we can try to fix that by just hitting it with a smooth. Um, so I'm just going to do this smooth function right here. Hit that with the smooth. One division is fine. Um, and then I'm just going to, as an added precaution, we're going to go ahead and um, delete our history and freeze our transforms like we always do to kind of keep things clean and orderly. See, I don't like some of these rocks down here so i'm going to just move them around a little bit more and this is something that i will probably honestly be doing um, throughout the remainder of the time that i'm working on this i'll be going in periodically and moving rocks around maybe duplicating them too um, but i actually like how that that turned out there so i have a little space for a garden here <clears throat> And I like the way my pavers are looking. Let's see if it renders all right the way it is here. All right, yeah, so I can already see that that's looking much better. I am going to zoom in a bit here and look at some of these pavers. I just want to make sure nothing's sticking out too crazy. You see that some of these are floating a little too high. We can see the shadow being cast below them. So I think some of these um, I want to come through and raise up a little bit. And then some of these around the outside, I just want to go through and lower them a little bit. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and address that. I find a lot of times when you're doing this, um, having wireframe on shaded on can help sort of get the idea of 
uh, sort of the spacing of things. So you'll see that right off the bat that a lot of these are just way too high off the ground. They're kind of floating. So we definitely want to address that. And I, I don't mind if they kind of go in a little bit to the ground like that. Um, I think that's fine. If anything, I think it could give it a, a little bit of a unique look. But I don't want anything floating too high off the ground. And I think the easiest way to fix that is just to manually come in and sort of adjust things. <clears throat> and like I said, take some of these guys and kind of move them up, rotate them around. until I'm happy with that. Don't want to move the ground there. Oops, keep selecting that ground by mistake. <clears throat> and I think it's good to have some of them higher than others, for sure. But I don't want any of them to be completely floating to where you can just see a shadow underneath them. And visually, you know, we're just concerned about how it looks in the render. Um, I'm not planning necessarily to have a character like walking or having any close-ups here. Um, so it all depends on either your, your scenario, um, why you're creating the scene that you're creating. Um, in some cases, you're going to be animating on it and having a character walking around on it. And you may want to have these close-ups of the ground um, so in those cases, you definitely want to pay a little bit more attention to detail um, and not have anything uh, floating, having everything look like it's very well planted in the ground. Um, <clears throat> you can see that I'm still finding little guys laying around. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just super important to kind of understand the, the scenario that you're going for. Um, the final output is it going to be a scene that has you know a short film for a short film that's going to have an, a character walking around possibly have a shot of these uh pavers like this close but in my case i know that we're going to be pretty far away from the pavers we're going to be looking at it at about this angle here so i'm not super concerned about how they look super close up so we'll do one more quick render here of this scene and then we'll jump in and talk about grass which is going to be the next big thing we'll deal with <clears throat> 